Hello everyone. Our group is going to present about firewall. I hope that after this presentation, you know about firewall. Our group topic, the firewall has five contents such as introduction, in history of firewall, basic concepts of firewall, types of firewall, uses of firewall and disadvantages and advantages. Now I am going to present about um, introduction of firewall. A firewall is a network security device is used to prevent unauthorized access program or internet users from accessing a private network or a single computer. It ensures a safe connection when connecting to the internet. It can be placed anywhere on a network. What are the purpose about this device? Firewall is to allow non-threatening traffic in and to keep dangerous traffic out. It is to establish a barrier between your internal network or incoming traffic from external sources such as the internet in order to block malicious traffic like viruses and hackers. Firewalls can stop a hacker completely or deter them to choose an easiest task. Firewalls prevent to, from gaining unauthorized access to your data, emails, and systems more. Hardware versus software firewall. Uh, firewall is hardware, software, or combination of both. Hardware firewalls protect an entire network implemented on the router level, usually more expensive, harder to configure. So fair firewalls protect a single computer, less expensive, easier to configure. That's all. Uh, thank you. I would like to invite Darshika. Uh, thank you, Bami. Uh, now I am going to talk about firewall history. Uh, firewalls have existed since the late 1980s and started out as packet filters or bytes transferred between computers. Um, but packet filtering firewalls are still in use today. Firewalls have come a long way as technology has developed throughout the decades. Um, firewall history can divide into five generations. Uh, let's see what are the generations. Uh, generation 1, uh, late 1980s virus attacks on standalone PCS affected all businesses and drew antivirus products. Um, generation 1 is from 1980 to 1990. In that time, firewall is not a new concept. It has become especially popular with the spread of the TCP or IP protocol stack due to its own nature. Uh, the first firewall proposal of packet filter came in 1989 by Jeff Mogul of Digital Equipment Corp. Uh, generation 2, uh, mid-1990s uh, attacks from the internet affected all businesses and drew creation of the firewall. Uh, generation 2 is from 1990 to 2000. In 1994, Checkpoint launched Firewall 1 that was very important for the development of the security market, uh, pioneering the GUI concept as well as other technologies uh, directly related to security. Uh, generation 3, early 2000s, exploiting uh, vulnerabilities in applications which affected most businesses and drew intrusion prevention system products. Um, generation 3 is from 2000, 2000 to 2008. Uh, through the popularization of the internet, many services and applications began to centralize their operation on the web. Uh, this move greatly increased the need to protect specific systems based on the HTTP protocol. Um, generation 4, uh, approximately 2010, rise of targeted unknown evasive polymorphic attacks which affected most businesses and drew antibot and standboxing products. Generation 4 is from 2008 to 2015. 
in 2009 gartner goes on to define the concept of next generation firewall uh, generation 5 approximately 2017 large scale multi vector mega attack is driving advanced threat prevention solutions uh, generation 5 is from 2015 Uh, the technologies behind firewall solutions have changed a lot in the last few years uh, driven by the convergence of information and knowledge to the electronic world and the internet was a great impetus for that to happen um, now i would like to talk about basic concepts of firewall um, there are four basic concepts in a firewall uh, such as source destination action and service uh, now let's see what is the source uh, we can define it is a computer that the packet comes from for the inbound traffic the source is the remote host for the outbound traffic the source is the local host uh, next one is destination it is a computer that the packet goes to for inbound traffic the destination is the local host for outbound traffic the destination is the remote host uh, let's see what is action in firewall uh, firewall rules can take the following actions first one is allow uh, explicitly allows traffic that matches the rule to pass and then implicitly denies everything else uh, second one is bypass Uh, allows traffic to bypass both travels and intrusion prevention analysis now let's see what is firewall as a service firewall as a service is a firewall solution delivered as a cloud based service uh, that allows companies to simplify it infra uh, infrastructure uh, it provides next next generation firewall capabilities like uh, web filtering advanced threat protection intrusion prevention system and domain name system security thank you uh, now i would like to invite altaf to continue this thank you tarushika now i am going to discuss about the types of firewall firewall can be divided into five categories based on the mechanism used to filter the traffic those are packet filtering firewall circuit level gateways stateful inspection firewall proxy firewalls and next generational firewalls to understand the mechanism first we will look at how the data transferred on the internet as we all know data was transferred at bunch of data packets each data packets consists with header and payload header includes information about the data like ip addresses of source and destination port numbers payload mean the actual data now we will look at packet filtering firewall packet filtering firewall use a basic mechanism it includes in routers and switches packet filtering firewalls compare header information of each packets with a list called acl access control list access control list consists with set of allowed ip addresses and port numbers then firewall compare it with is is that ip address is allowed or not next one is circuit level gateway circuit level gateway is works on the session layer of the osi model when we are connecting to a server tcp establish a connecting connection between a source and destination in the session layer circuit level gateway ensure that established tcp connection is secure packet filtering firewall and circuit level firewalls are not not check the payload it will only check the header information next one is stateful inspection firewalls stateful inspection also works at session layer when there is a request firewall keep track on those it will maintain a database called stable table state table which includes ip addresses of source and destination and port numbers so when firewall receive a response it will check on this state table and make sure is this response came from requested server you can see on this 
table also and also check the actual data and make sure they are doesn't have an attack next one is proxy firewall proxy firewall works on the application layer it will hide client identification and protecting it from any attack proxy firewall forwards client request as its own request by providing the ip addresses of proxy so hackers can't identify the user and also proxy firewalls maintain a cache memory when we are requesting a information from the server if that information is included on the proxy firewall it will send it to the our computer without going to the internet last one is next generational firewall next generational firewall mainly focuses on the payload that means the actual data it combines number of function of other firewalls it includes packet filtering firewalls and stateful inspection this protecting from malware attacks and external threats thank you next uh, the uses of firewalls discussed by the neurosan thank you altaf uh, I am presented uh, users of firewalls. Uh, first one is prevents uh, the passage of unwanted content. Uh, unwanted content uh, can easily uh, penetrate the system uh, unless a strong firewall uh, is in place. Uh, most of operating system will have a uh, firewall will effectively take care of and uh, underside and uh, malignant. Contain from the internet. Uh, where, whenever a new system is employed for use, the user must be uh, checked if a firewall exists or not. Ex not, and uh, if not, then the third-party firewall can be uh, installed. Second one is uh, prevent the unauthorized remote access. Uh, a strong firewall present any uh, sort of possibility of a uh, prospective uh, unethical hacker getting remote access into a system when it comes uh, comes to an understanding of the importance of firewalls uh, to prevent unauthorized uh, remote access the example of banking organization and national level security uh, agencies comes to one's mind Uh, third one is uh, guarantee security based on protocol and IP addresses. The uh, hardware firewall and are uses useful for uh, examining traffic uh, actives uh, based on a certain protocol. Uh, whenever a connecting gets uh, established right from the uh, beginning to the end, a track of activities is kept there that help. to keep the uh, system protected network uh, address uh, translation is a type of uh, firewall that effectively protects systems from those uh, which are outside the network to uh, which they belong as a result the system ip address is visible only their network thus keeping them separated and safe Uh, fourth one is uh, prevent uh, destructive content content from online video and games. The uh, malware attacks uh, through the sites operating uh, online games and uh, videos often go uh, unrecognized, uh, unrecognized as users are so uh, execute about the games or movies that they uh, intend to explore over the internet. A firewall must be uh, present in a system as it keep the users' uh, system pro protected from the uh, possible malware attack uh, through online games or videos. Um, last one is uh, protect conversation and uh, coordination content uh, organizations. Data into service uh, industry have to interact with third party client uh, contently. Moreover, almost all the content for these uh, coordination activities is 
confidential and must be uh, protected effectively and no organization and simply afford the cost of uh, leakage of uh, such important content firewall uh, guards the system effectively and uh, allows the secure uh, secured and uh, safe flow of info information and uh, imparting no a sense of confidence to the uh, stakeholders i am next invite to uh, chaturanga to uh, continue this presentation thank you niroshan hey guys first we look advantages first one monitor traffic a major responsibility of a firewall to uh, monitor the traffic passing through it. whatever information travels through a network in packet form firewall inspect each of these packets for any dangerous threats if it found then firewall will immediately block them next one protection against trojan first i think you know what is what are the trojans and hackers they are very dangerous a trojan silently sits on your computer and spies over all the works you do whatever the information they gather will be sent to a web server you don't know what they do but firewalls block trojans immediately before they can damage to your system next one hackers prevent hackers internet hackers they constantly sneaking into your into computers to carry out their illegal activities it is a good idea to have firewall protection for such an attack next one access control if a user feels the need to protect themselves from unwanted access this access policy can be controlled next one better privacy privacy is important things of users anyone with no chance of getting privacy details because they are blocked immediately by firewall additionally firewall we can block the dns information of the site system due to this the names and ip address will not be visible to the attackers also there are disadvantages here first one cost firewall cost depending on the type of it in general hardware firewalls are more expensive than software firewalls besides that hardware firewalls require insulation and maintenance which can be costly and essential of it expert for that it is difficult for the average user user restriction the that one not issue for individual people this will severely affect the overall productivity of the company next one performance firewall is limiting your overall performance the processing power and ram resources are main factors which decide overall performance of computer firewall constantly run so consume more these factors but does not affect hardware firewalls next one malware malware attacks firewall has capability to block the basic trojan it scan against other type of malware hence need install separate anti malware software next complex operation even though for small businesses the firewall maintenance is made easy it is definitely not for large organization firewalls for large organization require separate staff for operating them okay first we we like 
to say thank our lecture to give this great opportunity to us. And next, our group members. They gave their full support to prepare this presentation. Thank you so much for everything. And thank you for watching.